What's up guys, today we're covering saving using multiple save files. This is a continuation of my previous save tutorials, so be sure to watch those before watching this one. I'll leave a link in the description to the first episode. So, without further ado, a quick thank you to my Patreons for supporting me. I really do appreciate it guys, so thank you so much. Okay, let's get into this video. So the first thing we're going to do is create a game instance in order to keep track of which save file we're using. So in our content folder, let's right click, blueprint, and let's type in game instance and select that. Call this BP game instance and double click to open it up. Now let's create a new variable, call it save file name as a type string. So we had to create this variable in the game instance as we need this variable to persist throughout all levels. So we know which save file we're using. And a game instance for those of you who don't know is basically like your entire project blueprint. It's always running in the background and it persists throughout all levels. Now back into our content folder, let's hop into our project settings. Type in game instance and select our newly created one. Now our project will run our newly created game instance. Okay, now we need a widget with a few buttons. So you can create this yourself, or if you want to download the one I'm using, I'll leave a link in the description to it. Simply copy and paste it into your content folder in your file explorer when it's downloaded. When you've got it, open it up and create a on-click button event for each button. I've already got mine here, so quickly pause this video and bring yours in. When that's done, we're going to bring in a get game instance node, and off this, we're going to cast to our newly created game instance. Then off this, we're going to set our save file name variable and we're going to type in save one or whatever you want your first save to be called. Then off this, let's bring in an open level node and type in the name of our first level. Mine's called map one. Then we're going to duplicate these nodes for the rest of our save files, making sure you change the save file name for each. So I'm going to put save two for my second save and save three for my third. So when we click a button, we're going to set the save file name variable in our game instance to save one, save two or save three. And then we're going to open up map one. Now let's go into our content folder and jump into our BP save game. Create a new variable and call it map name as a type name. As our save games might be on different levels, we now need to save the map name so we know which map to open. So what you'd usually do is have a separate map purely for your menu widgets. And that's where you put your select save file menu. However, for testing purposes, we're just gonna toggle this in our current level. So let's hop into our level blueprint. Let's duplicate our create widget and our add to viewport, show mouse cursor and set input mode. Change the widget to our newly created widget and plug the rest of our duplicated nodes together. Now bring in a random key press event. I'm going to use the key press Z and connect our create widget nodes into this. Okay, cool. So now we can bring up our menu. Let's jump into our game mode. So the first thing we're going to need to do is find out which save file we're loading up and using. And remember, we set this in our widget menu and it was stored in our game instance. So let's bring in a get game instance node and then let's cast to our game instance. Pull off our game instance and get a reference to our save file name variable. Then pull off the save file and promote this to a variable. Call this variable save file name and plug it in coming off our begin play. So now we've got this variable in our game instance and our game mode. Now we need to control drag in our save file name variable and connect it into all the save functionality we made in the last few episodes. So plug our save file name variable into all our slot names for each node we used. I'll fast forward this bit. When that's all done, let's begin by saving the level into the save game. So when we create our save file, let's move our save to slot over to the right. Then let's bring in a get current level name node and let's pull off our create save game object node and set our map name variable we made in our save game earlier. And let's set the map name as our current level and connect our save game to slot on the end of this. So if the save game doesn't exist, we'll create it and then we'll set level one as its map name. Before moving on, let's tidy some things up. If our save game exists, 
when we load our reference, let's promote this reference to a variable called saveGameRef. Let's disconnect our useSaveLocation node and load game functionality and throw that to the right out of the way. So now if our save game exists and a map is already saved onto the save file, we need to check if the level we're currently playing is the map we've got saved in our save file. So let's duplicate our get current level name. Let's control drag in our save game ref, pull off the reference and get the map name. Then pull off the map name and bring in an equals node and connect our get current level name into the other input. Then let's bring in a branch with B and click and connect our equals into this. Then connect everything up. So if the level we're currently playing's name is equal to the map name we have saved, we want to load our program like normal. So we can connect our useSave location branch into this. And if our map name is different to the map we're on, we want to open up the map we've got saved. So bring in an open level node, duplicate our save game ref and map name variable. Then plug our map name into our open level. So we're opening up the map we've got saved. And that is everything apart from one thing. As we only save the map name when our save file is created, we also need to update the map name save when we're changing levels. So let's go down to our change levels event. Let's click on the event and add an input. Call it map name as type name. Then let's pull off our save game ref and set our map name. Slot this in between our use save location node and our save game to slot node. Then plug the event output into the map name. So when we call our change levels event, we specify which level we're going to and then save that level into our save game. Then when you're changing levels, all you need to do is set up your blueprints like this. You call the save game to make sure we've saved our character's stats or anything like that. Then we call the change level event, specifying which map you're going to and then we open up that map. And as you can see, when we play our level, we can save using each one of our save files and we can swap between the save files freely. But remember, this menu would really be on a different map specific for your menus. And there we have it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode. Peace. Don't let you